Gone away is the Nick site. Don't worry, cause it's all right. A beautiful sight we're having tonight. It's a spongy winter wonderland. Hello, friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today we're continuing more SpongeBob Nickelodeon.com flash games. We're back at SpongeBob's Action 52. And today, we're going to be checking out the last one on the list, in alphabetical order, Winter Runderland. Now, I actually have played this game many times before. This is one of my favorites, uh, especially around the holidays to come back to. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I love the pun. That rhymes. Unintentional. If any of you know what this is based off of, this is based off of the Flash game called Cannibalt. Cannibalt was one of the original Flash games that had essentially pioneered app-style game uh, genre. So, originally this game, I, I watched Mr. Enter's video on it, which is how I know about it. Essentially, it's a guy who runs on top of buildings and then through buildings. There was a Disney website game about some guy running on a rooftop, I think had, had a bicycle or something, based off of this. Often overlooked, especially due to, like, uh, Temple Run, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is, uh, just a very famous game, so a lot of places tend to have, uh, their own version of it, so over here is, uh, Spongebob's version of Cannibalt, and it's a lot of fun. You don't go into buildings, you just go on top of them, so I was sad to see that this game was gone, but we're gonna be able to play it this time, at least I hope. I hope it doesn't end up like the Thanksgiving game. That was, that was a whole dumpster fire. I have other episodes recorded uh, before I make this one, but I'm doing it anyway because it fits the holiday season. And I want to try and do at least one SpongeBob Nickelodeon game per month, uh, if I'm able to. Because I, I can do this once per month. Enough chit-chat, now it's time to play game. So, let me see. Winter Runderland, I am no longer in the other place that the Thanksgiving thing ended up being, so hopefully the audio is much better now. Winter Wonderland, that's just the encyclopedia. Kids Games Heroes. Kid Game Heroes. Kids Game Heroes. Kids Games Heroes. Welcome to Kids Games Heroes. Play free games with your favorite heroes. Well, I like that they drew up a hero for this, at least. There's Spongebob. Oh, wow. They've just stolen a whole bunch of Flash games. Simpsons games? Spongebob games. Fairly Odd Parents games. I'm very tempted to see what F Flintstones Simpsons games they have. Simpsons Pac-Man, Springfield Snowflake, Simpsons Home Interactive, Simpsons Ball of Death, Simpsons Bart Naked Skate. Oh, I see ads for this game all the time. You know when they have that like that list of like, oh, here's a whole bunch of Flash games. Um, I I haven't ever seen this game, but I I've seen this game advertised. Dress up your Lisa. This is going to have to be an episode. All right. So some of these are like they look legit. And I'm very happy to find some of these lost games again. And then I just noticed this one is a combination of Spongebob, Bart Simpson, Tom and Jerry, and Mickey. Despite them having Tom and Jerry, Simpsons, Spongebob, and I think there's Mickey somewhere. Oh! Okay. So these are Adventure Time games, Alvin and the Chipmunks games, Avatar games... American Dragon High Risk Rescue, American Dad Kung Fu, Arthur Christmas Conveyor Belt. Oh, wow! These are one of, like, those lost Flash games where it's, like, so often movies would have Flash games associated with them, and then they would disappear. This is, this is a pretty cool sight, honestly. Look at this. Arthur Christmas Conveyor Belt Madness. Oh, Winx Club Bluemix Battle? They have more Spongebob Flash games on here! Wait a minute, I just realized. Hold on, I've been stupid this whole time. We can go here for some more Sp Spongebob Flash games. They have Patty Panic, Pizza Toss, Pyramid Peril. I, I know these, I know these. 
bumper subs. I remember bumper subs. There was something about it I hated. I loved bumper subs, but then there was something about it that I hated. I don't remember what. Food Catcher, Krusty Weekly, Nick 3D Racers. They have Nick Block Party! I did. I thought that game was really stupid, but I played it a whole bunch. Cartoon Dodges. Oh my gosh, this is so many Spongebob games. Oh, this is wonderful. Bless you, cartoon, uh, kids, games, heroes. I really, really hope that the games actually work on here. <laughs> That's all we need. All we need is to not have the games work. Gourmetty memory game? Dance off, clash off. Ugh, robot monster. No. Wow. It's so cool to see some of these again. Oh, there's the Powerpuff Girls anime. Powerpuff Puff Girls Z Super Mix. Powerpuff Girls is an American... Is a, is a skill game based on the American animated TV series that's saying in China has to burst the right musical notes. I have a loud flash. Firefox is going a little weird. Oh, I forgot you use the arrow keys to move SpongeBob and the mouse is to jump. All right. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my gosh, please tell me it, it is still recording, right? Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. It's working. Oh, this is a hopeful day. This is a hopeful day, people. Thank you, Kids Games Heroes. Oh my gosh, that we're doing it. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so happy. Okay, so let's see. This is a SpongeBob 10th anniversary game from Nickelodeon. Simple game where you have to jump from roof buildings with SpongeBob. Jump as much as you can and get the highest score. A little wonky, but a good enough description. Use your mouse to jump and the arrow keys to move SpongeBob. I forgot how it controls. It's been so long since I've played this. Winter Runderland. Oh, it makes me so happy. I enjoy the music in this. It's pleasant. It looks kind of like it's... I don't know. SpongeBob, I think he was drawn up for this. This whole thing looks like it was drawn up. It's a very simple game, so they were able to draw up very nice assets for it. So, let's hit play. Click to leap. There we are. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can walk left and right. So, all right, so let me tell you how it works. When you jump from building to building, you get a higher score. This is how it was in the original game. You can just jump in place and build up your score. Again, this game was very simple. They didn't quite test it. I don't know if this is actually a background from the show and they reused it, or if they painted it for the game. Either way, SpongeBob definitely was drawn up for the game. Looking at the sprite, he was drawn up for it. And he blinks when he's standing still. He looks great. A little bit derpy when standing, a little slightly off model, but still looks great. He, when he jumps, he looks great when he jumps. That is just SpongeBob. When he's running, uh, uh, he looks a little different. His eyes change a little bit. I think they reused some of... Um, he goes from being regularly drawn to sort of like... Uh, do I fall off the cliff if I... Oh, there we go. So you can actually see the sprite a little bit easier. It looks kind of like they took his eyes and his mouth from a different source, or they traced it a little. He looks a little bit off while, in terms of his face while running, but they, they used a simple animation with him. He looks great while running anyway. This is just a good sprite. They This game looks fantastic, and it feels pretty good as well. SpongeBob works a little bit like, like he runs on ice, but it's... It's a really good ice physics where if you tap it a little bit, SpongeBob only slides a little bit. If you run a little bit further, SpongeBob slides a little further. It's a little hard to explain, but if you do the tiniest little tap, you can basically control SpongeBob. But if you press and hold it a little longer, then he slides a little bit more. So you get used to the controls there. You can just jump and then just increase your score up even more. I love that. So if you just feel like increasing your score, you can just jump. There's no timer. 
you don't have to worry about um, the game running out. We can just keep doing this. You can't press and hold the um, the button to click and continuously jump. You have to click it individually each time. Clicking always does the same height of a jump, but pressing left and right you have much better control over. So, it's essentially you just gotta jump at the right time and then just hope that you, you move. You're a little bit floaty, but that's to your advantage. You kind of float at the same speed. You don't end up going much slower. You jump up fast, but you float down, which is really good. Be careful of the slightly taller buildings. You gotta get a slightly higher start. See, this is what I hate here, because you jump and you gotta worry about sliding off the buildings. The slippiness of the controls fits. Oh, that is the kind of jump that I hate even more. You can do this game super, super casually. Or you can focus. And if you just want to increase your score, you can just jump right in place. It is so much fun. Sometimes you gotta take a leap of faith, but once you get the hang of it, you can just jump however you want. The jumps always tend to feel... or the jumps are almost always fair, I believe. It almost feels like the hitboxes are a little bit wider in this version, or at least I haven't played it in so long where it feels like it. Yeah, because sometimes I kind of remember those jumps would be a little harder, like I would tend to fall a bit more, or maybe I've just gotten better at Flash games. Nope, that's what I remember. <laughs> oh, I forgot! You get three tries! Three? You are down by one, boy! I didn't end up jumping there. My, that was, that was my, my dumb. I forgot you get three chances, so it's not an immediate game over. I completely forgot that, but that, that makes it so much more fun, so this way it's like, oh, my score is lost now. Yeah, those jumps... I, I don't remember making most of those jumps where it's like a far distance to this, the yellow higher building. Or at least a higher building? Yeah, just a higher building, not necessarily the yellow one. And it's just, it's just so much fun, it's, it's pleasant and relaxing. You gotta be a little careful, you can't just press and hold the right and... There, there's no exact, um, rhythm timing to get. Oh, they even got the little Spongebob bouncing animation correct. This isn't all, like, wonky. Even on the official site sometimes when I'd play it, the Spongebob bouncing on Patrick's tum would just be glitchy sometimes. Here, it looks like it actually works. Amazing. This, this game is actually better than it was on the original site, or at least it feels that way. It almost feels like the buildings, I can land them a little bit easier. It really feels like that. I mean, at that time was I was just stupid because I would just continue to run to the right, but... Sometimes you can cheese it a little bit and you can jump over the tiny ones. There, it's just a leap of faith. Yeah, that was so satisfying. <laughs> and here you gotta stop so that this way you don't plummet into the other side. So it's a little bit of a stop and start, but it keeps you on your toes. So it's not just pushing a button and then that's it. So there's a little bit of extra thought to it. When to stop and then when to try and jump. Oh, I walked right off the building. It made a little sound effect of like failure because I just ran off the side. If you run off the side, then you just collapse. You don't get a chance to, like, double jump or anything. But the fact that you have three extra lives to let you respawn, so that this way it doesn't just immediately end the game, is really nice. The little slidiness of it, you can sometimes forget that happens, so sometimes you gotta try and run into a jump. Or, like, no, how do, how do I say this? Sometimes... Because you pick up some more momentum as you run, So you gotta try and be, like, careful. You can't always necessarily... So, l let me let me tell you what I mean. You can't just jump and then press to the right, like that. You have to build up speed by running a, from the distance. So, sometimes if you stop, you gotta be careful because you need to run backwards to build up speed again. Maybe I just didn't get that right before when I was younger. Uh, because I would just tend to stop a whole lot, but you need that momentum in order to get over certain gaps. Not like that. I didn't play the sound that time, I just floated to my death. 
So there is an advantage occasionally to continuously running. So always going slowly may not necessarily be correct. But even on these tiny platforms, you can still build up just enough speed uh, to run to the side. Luckily, you have to run to the left and then you start running to the other side. But you can build up enough speed. He, he, he builds it up pretty quickly. So you don't have to... It doesn't build up constantly. All the jumps are in some way fair as long as you prepare for them. Like that. Although sometimes you'd end up failing the jumps. And there I just pressed the left button and then slid. I, uh, that one was on me, that wasn't on the game. It's hard to... It's hard to express that, but... Essentially, I just pressed the wrong button and then just messed that up, so that wasn't on the game. This game is so much fun. I'm so happy it works. Whoa! I saved myself there. I am a happy sponge. Yay! Oh yeah, I, I could just fall off the building sometimes, as long as you don't die. That, that one was like slightly... They, they were close enough where I could just run off the side of the building. Yay! So there is technically no incentive for you to have to run if you're just worried about score, because you can just stand still. The fun just comes from the experience of it. It's just a really fun, pleasant Spongebob game. It, it's, it's a somber sort of snow experience. That's what I... I yeah, that happened a whole lot to me when I was younger. That's what I remember. Yeah. Oh, it's just it's just relaxing and pleasant. It's not super Christmassy. SpongeBob's red hat is a lot of the color. It's very it's just kind of subdued Christmas. It's just more focused on the snow. So it's just sort of like a a very calm atmosphere. Not necessarily cozy, just very calm. So you can easily tell where SpongeBob is on on the game. The, the buildings and the way it floats to let you feel like you're jumping. But when Spongebob jumps, the buildings go lower. Even though Spongebob doesn't really change too much from the screen. There we go. I got a little bit too hasty and didn't build up enough speed for that jump. So there's, there's strategy. You get a feel for it. And it's just mesmerizing. If you ever just wanted to play Mario without any obstacles or power-ups or anything, and just you just really wanted to feel like jumping in a game, this is such a fun game to just jump. There's, there's no power-ups, no coins. It is extremely simple. There are no upgrades. You just run. Ah, uh, I didn't jump far enough at the edge. I'm getting a bit too relaxed in it, and then just not really focusing as much. But you go right in again, and just having extra lives is just so nice. There we go. Yeah, you can jump off the sides of the buildings. It, it, that, I'll, I, I, at least I have closure now. I know that those deaths have all been just because I was just getting too lax. The detection on the side of the buildings, I used to think it was a little bit off, but really it's, it's good. The only times I tend to fail are when, like, I could have made a better jump. And I think that's just part of it. See, like, right... No, not right there. Okay, that was on me. I hate those, those, those smaller buildings. Okay, and I could have ran there if I wasn't just... Sometimes you gotta really get to the edge, but you don't want to go too far to the edge. Otherwise, you'll fall. And you gotta stop there, because if you keep running, you can easily fall off. There we are. See, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I also like that the screen locks not on the building, but behind you to, to the side of the building. So it doesn't just stop here. So you can walk to the side and catch your breath for a second. Um, and you're not going to be stuck like the original Mario Bros. Like uh, where the screen just locks in place wherever you go. It's really nice. This game just feels good. It feels so good to play. There you are. Yeah, see, as long as you jump correctly, you can make those jumps. Right there. Yep, you can make those jumps. I just didn't run all the way to the edge. You, it's it's kind of hard to tell what's going to be coming up next, but that's part of the challenge. That's that's what that just helps to make it more randomized and fun. Oh, it's so good. I'm so happy to see this game again. It just it makes me happy. And I definitely recommend you try and find this game to play it. Because it is, it's addicting, it's fun, it's just, 
pleasant. The music isn't even super Christmassy. This whole game just feels winter-themed, not necessarily just Christmas. And I like that. There are, there are very few winter games as opposed to Christmas games. And it's just... It's just really nice. This game feels very much like January, but fun in January. Where it's like kind of meh and somber, especially here in New York with all the snow and it's just gray. And then it's just like, yeah, running from rooftop to rooftop. SpongeBob just plummeting to his death. Well, speak of the devil. There we are. Just made the edge of that building. That was that was so satisfying. This game is so pleasantly satisfying. It's so simple. SpongeBob really does control well. It feels like if you're on your toes fast enough, you can course correct him enough, or as long as you're careful. Not it's not perfect, but it's really good enough where it's like. If you die, it feels mostly like it's your fault. You can... I used to be more upset with Spongebob. Yeah. Because I now, now I know that I can just run a little bit closer to the edge, so you just gotta be careful when you do that. Um, and you can... It, once you do that, and you try and take like a, a long leap, you can course correct yourself where... If you, you think you're gonna fall off the next platform, you can kind of stop yourself. By either letting go of the button, or pressing the button to the other side. So I could either do- I could either press it to the left, or I could just stop. And Spongebob's mo- Spongebob. Spongebob's momentum will also lessen when I do that. He'll still move a little bit, but he lessens. So don't let go until you're ready to land, because if you let go right before you land, then you could end up killing yourself. And in that way, the controls fit the gameplay very well. Yay! I always thought the big yellow buildings reminded me of Spongebob. Just a Spongebob building. Not these tinier ones. The, the much bigger ones. There are two types of yellow buildings. These, yeah, these reminded me of Spongebob. There's a bigger one and here's a smaller one for comparison. That worked out. And then there's just the tiny buildings, which I always don't like those. They do add to the challenge of the game. I don't like them, but for good reason. In the sense that it's just a challenge, as opposed to, like, being easy. But if they weren't there, it would make the game a little bit less appealing. Because when you make jumps like that, it's really satisfying. I love that he's just running through town. Oh, see, yep. That one I could, I could definitely see I didn't run to the side enough. I could easily see that death coming mid-jump. You gotta be careful. Careful. As long as you're careful on those buildings, you can make it. You can go at your own pace however you want. And just the fact that the game does not immediately end, it's, it's so nice because you just appear on another building again. Ooh, I just made that jump. And I love that you can just, just slightly fall off the edge and then make the jump again. Oh, I fell off the building there. Nice. I just, I just, I just ran down. See, that's the kind of thing where you want to stop and then reposition yourself, because otherwise, if you just keep running, you'll slide off. The purple buildings can mess you up too if you're not careful. You want to stop there, uh, and of course, all the buildings are randomized. Every time you play, it's always randomized, so it's not the exact same thing. Whoa! There's a little lag there. I'm not going to blame that one on me. It was, it was a little bit of a lag there. I'm going to blame that one on the website. I'm all... Yeah, I'm going to blame that one on the website, too. I did jump off the exact edge. Hey, they were right! It's good. It's really, really good. I'm so happy that this game is around and is just good. Thank you, Kids Games Heroes, for re-uploading this game. It is so nice to see it again. Oh, and there's another printable. <laughs> if I wanted to print out something, who knows. To the score sheet. 
In terms of quality, I'm going to give it a 10. The game looks great. The music soundtrack, it doesn't get too annoying. It kind of fits it. It's not quite... It doesn't quite fit the winter theme exactly, but it fits the feel of the game. It, it feels right. So I'm going to give it the, the quality. Let me see. I, I always forget the, the things. Quality, controls, fun, and overall. Yep. So quality is a 10. Controls, for the way that the game is built, that gets a 10 as well. And in terms of fun, it's so simple. It gets a 10. gets another 10. It is one of the best Spongebob Flash games you could just play. Because you can focus on it, you can play it without thinking very much, you can do it however you feel, and it's just great. You can have so much fun just, just, just enjoying running. It's just a fun run. Um, as you can tell from my channel, if you watch me enough, I tend to like those kinds of games, uh, as I play Cookie Run quite a lot, but sometimes it's just fun to have a game where, like, you don't have to worry too much about anything else besides just simple jumps, and it, it's just so simple, it's amazing. Sometimes it's just nice to just take a break from stuff and just, just enjoy a simple run and jump. And then that's all there is. With, with, with Spongebob, with a winter atmosphere, for what it is, it does it super well. And I really, really love it. I'm so glad we got to play it again. It, it, makes, it makes me nostalgic, honestly. So... Ah, that's just, it's just great. Yep, yeah, it gets a perfect 10. So I believe it's that time again, friends. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone. And this is Handington, signing off. Bye! Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm in the middle of a fun run!